this is an interesting one. Okay, so something is going on in the world of wildlife that you might not know about is the world of wildlife virgin births. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, so sawfish are an interesting fish. Um, they're kind of flat. They look a little bit like a, a longer stingray on the bottom. So they're kind of squished, uh, but then they have a very long beak kind of nose that has these saws sticking out of it, right? These sharp teeth. Now, if they weren't strange enough, we have now learned, this is recently coming out, that they can reproduce themselves independently of the mechanism of sex. Now, this is well known and documented in captive animals, but very rare in the wild. And there are some interesting reasons that these things end up happening. Okay, the research is coming from a report out of Stony Brook University in New York. They believe the animal may be responding to the threat or the possibility of species demise. So by such extreme inbreeding, we're talking about inbreeding with yourself, that's the ultimate kind, the sawfish may save its future, it's already in jeopardy, but at the expense of genetic diversity. Now, the name of this phenomenon is called parthenogenesis. Now, it's a phenomenon, like I said, not uncommon in captive animals, which respond to confinement by doing away with the, necess the necessities of conjugation. We've seen it in bees, we've seen it in starfish, other crustaceans, and in reptiles. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting story. What this means and the significance is that when certain organisms are placed in an environment where their livelihood is threatened, some organisms are adapting in very short periods of time to be able to reproduce solely on their own. Just one organism and they fertilize their egg or however they do it and produce babies all on their own. So pretty crazy stuff, a lot of interesting implications for medicine in general. And meanwhile, of course, we've been seeing in the human world, we have been moving in closer and closer of a direction to that as well. Okay, so stem cell technology is bringing this parthenogenesis even closer. In 2007, the International Stem Cell Corporation declared that it had created human stem cells from unfertilized human eggs using parthenogenic methods. Pretty interesting stuff. So the techniques may avoid genetically inherited disorders, but they offer a pretty weird, I don't know, notion of reality where we have these children and these unions that don't revolve around, you know, both people's genetic material. We're talking about one. I mean, I don't know. It's not necessarily considered a clone because it's not an exact replica, but you're talking about both sides of the genetic material equation are coming from one person. Pretty interesting stuff. The word that you need to remember is parthenogenesis. You're gonna hear more about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.